Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for watching. It's Cheryl here and I know y'all read the title. Yes, I know you did. That's why you clicked on this video. <laughs> yes. So I finally got my hands on the Jacqueline and Morphe palette after so long. It launched, sold out in like, I think it was like an hour. It restocked sold out again it restocked this time and i was just like oh no oh hell no i'm not you, you're not getting away from me this time no girl no you're not i've swatched the palette already because i was just so anxious and i couldn't wait to do it on camera so you know i'm like y'all don't understand like i'm like a kid in the candy store right now i was at work with my phone like trying to dodge my manager and everything behind the register trying to order this palette and then it was like, you're in line, you have to wait, it'll automatically load when you're next. Then I'm like, oh my God. And for whatever reason, my manager just wanted to be almost like she was just walking around me the whole time. And I was just like, oh my God. Like, But I got the palette, so <laughs> here it is right here. Um, So far from what I have swatched, I really like the texture. Um. The formula, we're gonna, I'm gonna try it out today and see, you know, how it really wears for myself because I've seen gorgeous looks with this palette so far. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get to that today. I don't really know the, uh, the comparison between the regular Morphe palettes and this Jaclyn palette because I, I don't own any Morphe palettes at all but I will be purchasing some in the near future because there are a few palettes that I wanted to purchase I just never got the chance or just got around to actually buying any Morphe palettes you know it's just like okay they're there I'm gonna get it there's always something else coming up or I'm buying something else so I am gonna purchase it to see the difference in what everybody was talking about and I think she even mentioned it on her channel about how they use new machinery to make her palette so that's gonna be interesting to see too. So I'm not gonna keep talking. I'm gonna just get right into, let's get into this video. Okay, so I zoomed in for you guys so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm actually trying out a feature on my camera that I kinda didn't know was there and I was playing around with it last night. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it films. All right, so. Starting off in my crease, I'm going to be taking, let's see if I can get you guys to see this. I'm going to be taking the color Pooter. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'm going to be applying that in my crease. These are applying really nice. I like it, I like it so far. Yeah, that's really cute. I didn't think that color was gonna show up on me too much, but I actually did. So with the same brush, I'm going to pick up the color Roxanne. And I'm gonna go back into my crease with that, just to deepen up that color a little bit. This, this is really pigmented, I like this. I like this, like, I'm gonna be in this palette a whole lot. Y'all might get annoyed at me. <laughs> this is from just going in the pan one time. This is not like I didn't dip my brush back into the pan at all. Like, that's crazy. Okay, so with this shadow brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade Enchanted, and that's this really dark green, which I'm kind of excited to try because certain colors like this, it's really hard to pull off, and I've heard some good things about it so far. I'm just going to apply this right on the outer part of my lid. I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just kind of blend that out in the crease part. So 
I didn't mention oh so I'm, I'm sure you guys have noticed already I'm like wearing my natural hair today <laughs> I don't know sometimes I just like as much as I love wigs sometimes you just gotta take them off and you know just breathe a little bit I don't know maybe I should do a separate video on my natural hair do you guys want to see that let me know in the comments if you want to see that okay so the green is it is pigmented um like I said these are one of those colors that could be really tricky so you know you do have to go back into the pan maybe once more or maybe twice depending on how intense you want it to look but it does blend out really nicely um, I'm probably gonna just go back in there one more time and just darken it a slight bit more it could just be the brush that I'm using as well but I usually don't have any issues with this brush this is an elf this is a elf eyeshadow C brush too I'm just blending that out again am I out of frame Ugh. I'm gonna go in to this shade right here it's called SBN and I'm gonna apply that to the rest of my lid with this shadow brush from Mikasa this is a E230 brush and if you guys don't know I do have a coupon code in the description bar so if you guys want to purchase something just use that code all right I'm gonna apply something in my tear duct maybe I'll take the shade obsessed because this looks really really pretty this shade right here I'll just apply that in my tear duct with this pencil brush all right so I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and do my lower lash line and then we're gonna see the final results okay guys I'm back so I did the rest of my makeup, my contouring, my highlighting, all that good stuff. And now I'm going to jump back into the palette really quickly. So I always make this mistake, right? I always do my tear duct and then put my concealer on. And then my concealer like gets all the way up here. And then all the way up here. And then I end up having to do it over again. So I have to remind myself, do my highlighting first then go back into the tear duct. So I'm just gonna pick up that color Obsessed again and just kinda just redo that. I'm gonna go back into that dark green, Enchanted, and I'm going to apply, apply, apply that on the outer part of my lower lid. Now let's just take a, I don't know what brush this is. This is another e.l.f. brush. I think this is another e.l.f. brush. Yeah, it is e.l.f. I can't. A blending eye brush. It's an older brush I have. And I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to take the shade Chip. And I haven't used this yet. And I'm going to apply that shade to the inner part of my lid. I'm just gonna take that again and just blend that out. All right, girls and boys, so I applied my mascara and my lashes. I used the Maybelline Full Seas Push-Up Drama. This is my favorite right now um alongside the big shot for lashes i use the pure pro lashes um i don't know which ones these are yeah these are um these are actually the cruelty free and vegan friendly lashes next i'm going to be 
taking my MAC lipstick in half and half. I'm just going to apply that. I don't really feel like I need a liner. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Yeah, I don't know how I was looking on camera, but I don't usually wear a liner with this. So I skipped the liner. On top of that, I can't find my NYX Urban Cafe. I don't know where it went. I'm a little upset. Then I'm going to be applying the Allegory Story Lip Gloss in Plateau's Cave. And then I'm just going to be spraying some Fix Plus. I kind of like the Fix Plus, just like I have oily skin, which if you watched any of my previous videos, you probably know that already. But um, sometimes, even with oily skin, applying like the powders and just foundations and stuff, it still can look a little ashy, so I don't want it to. I don't want it to look too ashy. I do like matte. Sometimes it can be really ashy and dry looking, so I still like to still set it with something. Okay, guys, this is the final result. I'm absolutely loving this look. Like, I'm gonna be in this like all the time now. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video